When something only takes 45 minutes and sets you up for the whole week, you definitely can't complain. And this honey sriracha chicken is easy, it's cheap and delicious. Let's get straight into it. To start, we'll make our sauce. This right here is 120 grams or half a cup of sriracha sauce. It is a little bit spicy. If you can't do spice, this can be substituted for tomato ketchup. We're also going to add in 60 milliliters of low sodium soy sauce, 30 milliliters of apple cider vinegar, 50 grams of honey, as well as nine grams of corn flour. You can also use corn starch, and this is just going to act as a thickening agent. Once that's all in, just get in there with a whisk and mix this up, making sure you break that corn flour and obviously getting that honey mixed in well. Then we're going to need four cloves of freshly peeled garlic, as well as 15 grams of ginger that's been grated. Just run both of these along a microplane or a fine box grater to create a paste, then just scrape them into that marinade. Make sure you get it all in there, just so we don't waste any of this stuff. Then get back in there with the whisk and just make sure you break it all up and everything is evenly combined. You can pretty much use any green vegetable of your choice for this recipe or even a capsicum or bell pepper, but I'm using 500 grams of broccolini and I'm just going to roughly cut this up into florets as well as using the stems. Also, I am using spring onion or scallion, the green stem. This is completely optional and it's going to be used as a garnish. All I'm doing is thinly slicing it into thin rounds, just like this. Let's then place a large saucepan over a high heat, add in 300 grams of washed jasmine rice, as well as 500 milliliters of cold water, a generous pinch of sea salt, and then we can just mix this around, just making sure it prevents any clumps. Bring it up to a boil, then we can place on a lid, reduce the heat to low, and then just let this cook for 12 minutes undisturbed. In the meantime, we'll place another pan over a medium high heat, add in one tablespoon of peanut oil or any neutral flavored oil of your choice. Once the pan is hot, add in that broccolini that we cut up before, sea salt or table salt, as well as ground white pepper. And then we can just stir fry this for about five to six minutes, moving it around regularly just so it doesn't burn. We do want it to have a slight char on it, but we don't want this to be completely black, as well as we also want it to be a little bit al dente, but not completely soft. It is all about playing around with it, and you might like your broccoli done a different way, it's completely up to you. Once you are happy with it though, turn off the heat and add in two teaspoons or 10 milliliters of sesame oil for a nice nutty flavor. Just give this a really good mix around. You should have something that looks like this. The flavor is beautiful and it smells really nice as well. And this right here is the macros for the broccolini alone, as well as the serving size. Now going back to the rice, this has been on for 12 minutes. Turn it off the heat, but leave the lid on for a final four minutes. Then we can carefully remove the lid. Just be careful of any of that escaping steam. And then fluff this up with a fork or a spatula. This is beautifully fragrant and really well cooked. And this right here is the perfect fluffy rice and the macros for this, as well as the serving sizes. Saving the best to last, which is the honey sriracha chicken, place a large high rimmed pan or wok over a high heat, add in one tablespoon of peanut oil or any neutral flavored oil. Once it's hot, just add in 1.2 kilos of chicken thigh that's boneless and skinless, as well as salt and ground white pepper. Don't do this all at once though, do it in batches, otherwise you'll end up steaming it. Then we're going to cook this for about six to seven minutes, just to slightly brown it off and cook it all the way through. Once that is done, we can then remove this from the pan and just repeat this with the remaining batch. Once both batches of chicken are cooked through, add in the first batch along with any of those resting juices, and then we can add in all of that honey sriracha sauce. Make sure you do scrape it all in there though, because this is where all of that flavor is. And you might need to give it a little whisk before doing so, just to break up that corn flour again. Once that is in, turn the heat down to medium high, and then just gently mix this all together, and this will start to thicken up straight away due to the corn flour. And what we're going to do is just cook this for about two minutes until the sauce is thick and everything is completely coated. I'm adding in a mixture of sesame seeds. This is five grams and they're both black and white sesame seeds. Don't have to do that, it's completely optional. Give that a quick mix through and then we can remove this from the heat. And this right here is the honey sriracha chicken macros as well as all of the serving sizes. Let's then portion this all out. Add the rice to five 750 milliliter containers. I have a link for those containers in the description if you're interested. Then go in with the broccoli. All of the serving sizes are on those macro cards. And last but not least, just add in that honey sriracha chicken. Just make sure they're all even sized if you haven't decided to weigh them. Garnish it with some spring onion that we did before, as well as a little bit more black sesame seeds on the rice. It's completely optional. But with all of that done, we have this beautiful honey sriracha chicken meal prep that looks and smells delicious. Also, this right here is the last macro card, and that is the serving sizes with everything combined. As for these, let them cool down for about 15 minutes, place on the lids, put them in the fridge for up to four days and in the freezer for up to four months. When you're going to reheat them, if they are frozen, just allow them to defrost overnight in the fridge. It's the easiest way to do it without drying these out. And as for reheating, you can put these in a pan, mix it all together, have it sort of like a stir fry, or you can just do it in the microwave. Just do whatever's easiest for you. As always though, there is only one thing left to do, and that is of course, we can then dig in. 
The thing I like most about these types of recipes is just how easy they are to make, but how delicious they are at the same time. This is a little bit sweet, it's a bit salty, it's a bit spicy. And if you don't like spice, there's substitutes available and I'll leave details about that in the description. Definitely do make this, it's definitely worth a try. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. It really does help me out and helps the channel be seen by more people and consider subscribing along with hitting the bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.